Hi and welcome back. In our last video on fireworks we saw how to select objects and areas within objects and uh, work with them with the marquee tool and this pointer tool. In this video I want to show you how to select multiple objects and how to use the different alignment, spacing, and grouping tools. So you'll see here again I've got my pointer tool selected and I can click on one of those shapes and you'll see how that shape is selected. I click on another shape the previous shape is deselected. So there's a few different ways to select multiple objects inside of Fireworks. One is you can just drag a selection box around all of the objects. And if I go ahead and point right up here, press and hold and drag, you'll see how I get a box there. And when I release, all four of my objects are selected. If I was to start, let's say, from right here and drag, you're going to see I'm selecting part but not all of the four objects. And if I release it's selected. So all the selection box actually has to do is touch the item in order for the entire object to be selected. So you don't need to select the entire thing unlike some other um, programs that are out there. So I can drag a box around these items. If dragging a box won't work for you because you don't want to select everything within an area you can hold the shift key down and select multiple items. For example, I'm going to go ahead and click my first item here, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key, and I'll click this item here. And you'll see the first and the last box are selected. I can go ahead now and click these other two boxes, and again, all four of the shapes are selected. So the first thing let's go ahead and do is let's look at some of the alignment tools. Now these boxes are all the same size, so they should line up in space fairly well. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to the Modify menu, and there's the Align option. You also have an item over here in your panels for Align. But I'm going to say I want to align the tops of each one of these shapes. When I click Top, you're going to see it straighten them out so each one of those shapes is lined up or aligned with the top of the other shapes. Now again, that worked really well because all of our shapes are roughly the same size. But if I was to make some uh, changes here, let's say I'm going to go ahead and make that one a little larger, that one a little smaller, and we'll make this one just a little bit larger. Maybe make it into a, a more of a rectangle there. And let's see how it would work this time. I'll go ahead and select all the items, and again I'm going to go to Modify, Align, and Top, and you're going to see again all the tops are lined up there. If I was to go to Modify and Align and choose Bottom, it lines the bottoms of the shapes up for me. And we also have, I'll come over here to my panel for this one, we also have a way to align things vertically on the center as well as change the distribution and um, if we have any hor or vertical offsets. For example, I'll go ahead and drag these out just like this. And now let's go ahead and select these three objects. And let's say I want their left edges aligned. Well, that would be this item right there. I go ahead and click that, and you'll see it lines the left edges up for me. Or I could align the centers, or I could align them to the right. And again, these tools here do exactly the same thing as the different options here on your Align menu. I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to move these into position here. And you're going to see this time I've got a varying amount of space in between my different objects here. And what if I want these to be aligned on the center, but I want the spacing to be equal? Well, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select all those items and then I'm going to go to Modify Align and you have Distribute Widths and Distribute Heights here. If I select Distribute Widths, you're going to see that it makes the amount of space in between these objects all the same. It doesn't make the spacing in between the objects the same, just the amount of space in between the objects. For example, there's the same amount of space here even though this is a skinnier item and this is a larger item than the um, and you can see the amount of space here is the same. So you've got those distribute options right in there. And if I was doing this vertically 
I could do exactly the same thing. I'll go ahead and select those three there. And I'm going to go ahead and actually we can come over here and you can see your distribute vertically on the center. And that goes ahead and makes the amount of space in between these two items the same. So these align tools can be very, very useful for you. And you can space them out either evenly or you can even put a, a pixel value in here. For example, let's say I've got these items here and I want there to be 10 pixels of space in between them. I could come over here to space and I could type in 10 and then I could go ahead and I want that to be the space in between there. I'll click that and now I've got 10 pixels of spacing in between each one of those items. And again, it doesn't matter the width of it. So these align properties and spacing properties can be really useful for you. In the next video, we're going to talk about the grouping and arrangement tools.